Hi, for this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a probability given a contingency or a two-way table. Different textbooks call them different things. Um, but basically, a contingency table or a two-way table is you have your relative frequencies in the middle and then you have your marginal frequencies on the edges. Um, for this video, I'm not going to do any givens. Um, I'm just gonna keep it to the very, very basics of this. Uh, so what we have is the following shows the number of vehicles at a car dealership. Okay, so we have 45 cars that are Hondas, 33 cars that are Dodge, 78 total cars. So that's kind of how you read this. We have 47 total trucks, 15 of which are Hondas, 32 which are Dodge. And we have 150 total vehicles. And I could get this 150 by either adding up all of the total of my cars or adding up all of my total of my vehicles the vehicle type or manufacturer, okay? Um, so for this, we're gonna assume that the probabilities remain constant and we're just going to select the next car. So we're gonna find the probability that the next vehicle selected is A, a car. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go and look for car and we can come across to see that my total number of cars is 78. So the probability that I select a car as my next vehicle, it doesn't matter what type it is, is 78 out of 150. These are known as the margins. So if you were looking for a marginal probability, that's what this would be talking about. So 78 out of 150, um, which reduces to 13 out of 25, or if you wanted to express it as a decimal, this does give you 0.52. So any way of writing these is an acceptable answer. So the probability of selecting a car as the next vehicle is 13 out of 25 or 0.52. For the next one, this time we're gonna look for a Honda. So we wanna find the probability of selecting a Honda. And it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle it is, whether it's a car, a truck, or an SUV, that does not matter. We're just specifically looking for a Honda. So again, this is in the margins. So we would have 70 out of 150. So this reduces to seven over 15, or if you wanted to express this as a um, decimal, we could write it as 0.46 repeated or 0.46 forever and ever. You could round it to 0.47 or 0.467. There's a lot of different ways to write this. You could also write it as a percent if you wanted to. Okay, um, the next one that we're gonna look at is now we're looking more specifically um, at a truck that is a Honda. So we are looking for specifically a truck that is a Honda. So we have to look at the overall, this would be our relative. Um, so we have 15 total vehicles out of 150 vehicles um, that is a Honda truck. So we're looking specifically for a Honda and a truck. Okay, so this would be 15 out of 150, which would reduce to one over 10 or 0.10. Okay, and then the very last one that we're going to look for is we are going to look for what is the probability that it's a Dodge SUV? So a Dodge SUV, if I look for Dodge and I look for SUV, there are 15 total Dodges that are also SUVs. So this will actually be the same thing as the last one. It's just a coincidence. Um, so our Dodge SUV would be 15 over 150 which reduces to one over 10 or 0 0.10. So either way that you wanna write that is okay. So with this, if you're talking about something in the margins, like if you're talking just in general a car or just in general a Dodge, then you're gonna look in the margins. If you are looking for something that is specifically a like a truck and a Honda or a car and a Dodge, then you would look inside of the table. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.